Hello everybody, it's Harley Barley back again with another episode of Long Live the Queen. When we last left off, I finished the blind playthrough of trying to get Elodie to become a warrior queen. Unfortunately, we kind of failed at war entirely, and not only that, but when we faced off against Togami, our father took our Lumen Crystal, became a Lumen, and got himself killed in our place. So, even though we managed to keep Sanjia from taking over our kingdom, our father still died. And I ran through a couple possible playthroughs by um, cheating and upping our climbing stat through the roof, but in the end, we still had much the same um, ending. So, Elodie did live to become a queen, but it was a very sad queendom. So, what we're going to start doing today is we're going to learn a lot more about the game and the rest of the characters throughout it. So, all the intricate politics and everybody that we need to know and all the history and all that jazz. And the way we're going to do that is by using that debugging menu that I taught you guys in the last video. And what I've done here is I've maxed out every skill with the exception of Lumen. And I left this blank because I do know that there have been occasions where the game will bug up if you use this before you actually get your Lumen Crystal. Now, what I can do is, should we not have our Lumen Crystal before the Grand Gala or anything, then... Um, I can go ahead and try this, but the game still might bug up. Uh, regardless, what I can do is we have all of these maxed out. So we'll be able to learn pretty much everything about everybody in just a couple of playthroughs. So there's another thing that I've done, and I've gotten one of my favorite outfits. You can also change your mood as well, get any outfit, and up the Lassie. And I've got our Lassie maxed out at 9999 as well, so we can get the printing press, hospital, anything else we need. So... I'm going to get our Scholar's Gown, and I'm leaving her mood at depressed, because why not? And anyway, we are going to go ahead and start here. So, let's give it a shot. And this is literally right after the beginning, so I haven't done anything else. So, we're just going to click the first thing that comes to us, Meditation. And it's just going to say Studying, since we've maxed it out. Now, if you do go into the cheat menu and you max out your skills, you're not going to get the uniforms the way you would normally. So you may as well just go ahead and put in whatever uniform you want while you're in there. And um, I will leave a link in the description where you can go find the debugging cheats. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we'll read through this like normal. Okay, what's the noise outside? Oh, it's my cousins It's my and my aunt and uncle. Darling, we are so terribly sorry to hear about your mother, Fidelia. Thank you. You look well, niece. Hi, Lodi. Hi, Lodi. I haven't seen you in ages. Will you be staying long? Yep. Mummy said we'd be here all month. Well, maybe I'll have some time to talk later. I want the cheerful. So, since we have all of the skills, with the exception of Lumen, through the roof, we get extra stuff. So, with athletics, we get sports. With... I can't remember what it was. Um, some, I want to think if we have dance maxed out or high enough, we get a tin ball. Uh, haunting, I can't remember. <laughs> um, tour barracks was military. I want to think if you had like archery and everything maxed out, you get this. I can't remember. But um, we can do basically whatever we want right now. So we have all this extra. So we can go talk to our father. Dad, can we talk? I'm sorry. Your uncle and I have things to do. Maybe another time. Oh. And she's lonely again. So we're going to continue kind of just looking through those. So classes, same thing. Who cares? Okay. What's that commotion outside? Father, what's going on? And Juliana showed back up. So we'll go ahead and skip ahead through all this. And since we have all of our skills maxed out, we can go either way. So this time, uh, we are going to keep Juliana again. And we're going to let her stay. And let's go talk to Charlotte this time. 
I love this room. It's so much bigger than mine back home. You should visit more often. It's awful that the only time I get to see you is... something like this. I know your brother and sister are still too young, but why haven't you come to school? My mother worries about me. She doesn't think anywhere but home is safe. I understand. I'm probably not going to be allowed to leave this castle until my birthday. But at least we can have fun together here. And now she's afraid. Don't be afraid, Elodie. We have our skills maxed. You're invincible. He loves me, he loves me not. And since our composure is really good right now, we can do one of two things. We can hold still or we can look down and freak out. So I think this time around we're going to hold still. Composure success, obviously. You bite your lip and hold perfectly still, resisting the urge to look down. Juliana swings her sword. There. It's dead. You look down at your feet and see a snake in the grass. Eek! What is going on out here? Mummy, there was a snake! The Duchess of Rusil protected us. Milk vipers are not native to this area. That snake should never have been here. This is unacceptable. I can't have my daughter remaining in such a dangerous place. We are returning home to Mother at once. Aww. So, we can talk to our father now. And he talks about how, as a magic user, she, um, her mother used her strength as a lumen, and it drained all of her strength, and she just died. And as we found out in the last couple of videos... Togami was the one responsible for her dying. So, uh, I'm assuming it had something to do with his invasion and all that jazz. Maybe an assassin. Who knows what. Well, anyway, we might be able to find out in this playthrough. We're going to keep doing that. Keeping going, keeping going. And I'm also going to do videos in which... I'm going to run back through all of the skills individually and max those out. So each of the royal demeanor and lumen magic and all that stuff and actually show you all of the screens per each one. And I'm going to make separate videos for each of those blocks so you guys can actually learn everything that you need. So should you play the game and you want to look through something and just have that there for you as a reference, you can pop back to one of these videos later on. And says, the castle seems quieter with Charlotte and Emery and Zara and their parents gone. It's certainly not empty, though. It seems like we get more servants every day. And that's just kind of it. You don't have the whether uh, she got better or not because nobody got bit by a snake that time. So we can talk to Juliana. And we know about the Lumen Crystal, so it doesn't really change much. So we need to find our crystal, she says. One of the maids approaches you for her attention. My lady, couriers have arrived from the Duke of Sedna. And, of course, this time, we are a know-it-all because we know everything. Almost. We don't know Lumen stuff yet, but anyway. Sedna, that's in Talas, the domain to our southeast. Okay, that... Uh, okay, that was weird. <laughs> I'm not sure why that did that. They have brought you a letter and a gift. Oh, okay. Um, It's because I'm clicking the middle button on the mouse that's doing that. Okay. I didn't know it could turn stuff on and off. Okay, so if you just wanted to have a picture of this lovely castle as your wallpaper, you could do that by hitting the middle button on your mouse. I just learned that today. Okay, so they have brought you a gift and a letter. Or, well, that was backwards, but who cares? Condolences on the death of, deeply regret, best witches. Oh, what a beautiful necklace. And since our court manners are maxed out, it might not be appropriate for me to wear a man's gift in public, though. People would think it meant something. So we have the choice to wear it or don't wear it. For this playthrough, I'm not going to wear his necklace. Don't worry, I will go back and run through a playthrough by wearing the necklace and... Dealing with the gentleman that comes with it. Okay, it's important to maintain the proper image. Okay. So, we're going to talk to our father. 
And he's going to tell us that our Lumen Crystal is in a safe place and he doesn't want us meddling with it. He's afraid we might go splode. And we do have a tendency to go splode with different things now. And then we see uh, Juliana. We've run through this before. Juliana's in the garden with a priestess and they're holding hands and they're being all that cute and everything. So it looks like she's busy, so she doesn't want to interrupt their date. Now, we have an opportunity here to do something new. You turn and walk in a different direction so as not to disturb them. At that moment, you notice something unusual. It looks like someone just left the palace grounds by going over the hedge. Was that a thief? A servant? Or an assassin. Now, before, we've had the option to call the guards, run and hide, or climb up to look over the hedge. And since we kept failing our climbing skills, we didn't have a chance for that. So, for this video, we're actually going to climb up and look over the hedge. And our climbing was success. You clamber up a nearby tree to get a better view. There! You see a boy, a bit older than you, hurrying away from the palace ground as he munches on an apple. Your apples! He was stealing your apples! It's too late to catch him now, but you will remember. So apparently some kid was sneaking in there to steal our apples. So let's go back and visit Juliana. And she's going to tell you we might have to take drastic measures. Uh, I'll wait till I'm older. I'll try to find a way. What drastic action? Um... Let's say I'll wait till I'm older. No, I trust my father, and he says I shouldn't do this. He is trying to protect you, so am I. So, I don't know if we'll have the opportunity to go back there or not and check out the thing normally, but... Oh well. As you're walking up the stairs, Maid comes running down holding a towering pile of linen. You step gracefully aside and let her pass. So, I think it was since our elegance... Either our elegance or reflexes was high enough just now. I can't remember. Anyway, since one of those skills was maxed out, we actually just stepped out of her way, and we didn't have to have a confrontation with her whatsoever. Um, anyway, so we can visit the treasury now if we'd like. And obviously we get into the treasury very easily. And we find our lumen crystal. So we have that now, if we want it. And, um, let's see... Go through classes, go through classes. And there's a man here to see you. He wishes crowdfunding for a project of his. So, this time, since I maxed out our lassie during the debugging uh, menu right before I started this video, uh, we can actually get the printing press this time. And since our skills are high enough, we have the opportunity for that to even come up. Your Royal Highness, I have a plan to print books using metal letters which can be moved and reused. I need to borrow 875 Lassie to assemble the metal in a factory to mold and cast the type. With this system, we will be able to create new books in a fraction of the time it takes now and make copies to send all over the world. Production and trade we would need pretty high for this to succeed. Hmm, if it really works, that could be a very important invention. And indeed it is, because if you want to get some extra soldiers later, you can print propaganda to help you. I think that's, I think that's how it goes, if I remember correctly. Like I said... Uh, it's been a while since I've played this game, and with the exception of the few playthroughs I just ran through, I'm trying to remember bits and pieces. So, okay. So let's go ahead and invest. We would be happy to invest in your venture. And I do remember that this actually comes up in the ending if you invest in that. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's see. I got it! What do I do now? And we have an opportunity to actually use our Lumen Crystal, don't do it, or ask about risks. Is, is this dangerous? My father said that using magic can kill you. Bonding with a crystal is not dangerous. Dangerous. Using magic can be dangerous, but that is why I'm here to train you. My mother was trained, wasn't she? Yes. My father said she used too much magic and over time it built up and killed her. Your father means well, but he is not a lumen. I have drawn power many times over many years, and I am unharmed. Then what did happen to my mother? I don't know. Accept that, or accuse her. So, we have a couple of options here. We're going to go ahead and accept that, though. I can come back at any point in time in another video and 
see this through. So, um, we're going to go ahead and accept it now. All right, I understand. Very well, now take up the crystal. And we have the option to do it or don't do it. So what I'm going to do is I am going to save this game all right here. Oops. All right. So we're going to return to this screen and then I'm going to end the video. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons and don't forget to get the hit that notification bell so you can catch videos like this as soon as they come out. All right, in the next video, we are going to make the fateful choice of doing the illuminate or not doing the illuminate and telling her where she can put the crystal. All right, everyone, I will see you next time. Hardly Bartley signing out.